Hello, this question asks us to evaluate the formal charge and determine the preferred structure for SCN- which is thiocyanate. So our job here is to get the formal charge of each element in each of the three pictures. And hopefully you remember that the formula is group number minus possession number. So I am going to draw in the electrons for this triple bond on A. So there's six of them. And this single bond attached to carbon. Now, in order to term, determine formal charge, we're going to circle and have half of the bond belong to sulfur. Sulfur is in group six. I have five electrons in the circle. So that sulfur is plus one. For the carbon, <clears throat> carbon is group 4, there are 4 in the circle, so carbon's formal charge is 0. And for nitrogen, nitrogen's in group 5, there are 7 electrons in the circle, so the formal charge is minus 2. Okay, let's try that for the rest of them. Sulfur is in group 6, there are 7 in the circle, sulfur is minus 1. Carbon has 4 in the circle, so 0. And nitrogen has 5 in the circle, and it's group 5, so 0 formal charge. Alright, last one. Sulfur is group 6 with 6 in the circle, so 0. Carbon, group 4, and 4 in the circle, so 0. And nitrogen, whoop, there we go, is in group 5, and they're in 6 in the circle, so minus 1. All right. Well, in looking at this, I hope you realize that A is a terrible structure. Atoms are most comfortable when they have formal charges of zero, which is what their typical valence electrons are. And a compound is most comfortable at zero, zero, zero. Of course, we can't do that for thiocyanate because it has a minus one charge. So the question is, do we want sulfur to support a minus one charge or nitrogen to support a minus one formal charge? And the answer is, we want nitrogen, because it is more electronegative. So, by formal charge, the best structure is structure C with two double bonds.